Okay, we're going to go through some basic setup procedures for the Yaesu FTM 400 right from right from out of the box. First, after connect, make sure you have your power antenna, everything connected to the radio before turning it on. You do not want to accidentally transmit before having an antenna or load connected to the radio. Power on the radio. If it'll come up, you will have to enter your call sign before you can do anything for programming the radio. Let's go ahead and use the QWERTY keyboard to enter your call sign. After entering your call sign, hit the ENTER key in the lower right hand corner. Radio will then go up, finish the boot up process. There you go, I turn volume down so I don't have to listen to it. Now you'll see that automatically when you first turn it on, the VFOA will be set to 144 megahertz. The flashing red dash above the FM indicates that it is on automatic detect for a digital or analog signal. If it picks up a digital signal the FM will switch to DN and here's FM it'll switch back to FM. First thing you want to do, well first thing I always do is go into the setup area. If you go to the configure icon And you go down to menu item 4, automatic repeater shift. I always like to turn it off. To me it's easier to remember to set a repeater shift when you're manually entering a repeater than it is to remember to turn the shift off when you enter a simplex frequency. Go ahead and tap on the on until it displays off. Next thing you want to do set your date and time format for your preference. If you highlight it and then tap it again you can go into date, it says month, day, year, 24 hour time format. You can switch it, the options for it are month, day, year, year, month, day, day, month, year, year, date, and month. I always leave it with the Month first, easier, most people are familiar with it. I can click tap back. Time format, I personal, my personal preference is 24 hour time format. Um, you can switch it to 12 hour time format for AM, PM. Time zone, uh, this you have to know what your time is in comparison to UTC. Time zone here is seven hours behind UTC. And whenever you to switch this, if you tap on it, it will, the numbers will turn orange. That is when you use the upper right hand dial knob to adjust that. You tap it again, it will turn green and allow you to go through other frequencies. The repeater shift frequency automatically changes if it detects that VFO in 2 meter or 70 centimeter. When you switch to 70 centimeter, it will show a 5 megahertz repeater shift frequency. Go ahead and hit the back button out of here. Now, if you ever need to change your call sign, you get a vanity call sign, you can hit the call sign button in the bottom lower right. It will allow you to change it in there. Once you have that set up, you are good to go other than programming in your repeaters or simplex frequencies to change the frequency. If I want to change it on VFOA, say to the calling frequency. If you tap 
short press the FMW button will bring up the menu function items the grid is the enables the keypad on the touch screen you can tap that then you can manually put in the frequency in which you would want to use to get rid of the auto auto detect feature if you simply press the DX button on the left side we'll change it to digital voice wide and FM everyone uses FM the digital feature is nice whenever you for other people on the Yesu C4 FM system to get out of this screen press the function button again uh, you can use the hand mic to enter the frequency if you want to change frequencies without dialing the knob if you're driving you can enter it manually using the keypad on the microphone if you want to switch between A band B band the buttons on the side of the microphone will allow you to do that simply pressing the B will change it to B the lower frequency is B, the VFOA upper one is VFOA to go back to A press the A button we'll get into all the other features on the microphone as far as the P1, P2 buttons etc on the microphone in another video There's this radio has a lot of features that is hard to cover in one video and make it short enough. Here's the radio. I'll also be doing video reviews and how to's for different radios. Um, a lot of Yesu radios, Kenwood, the Bofang radio, TYT, Anytone. So subscribe, pay attention, watch for new videos coming out. They'll be try, going to try and do at least one video a week. Might be every two weeks. Um, like I said, be a lot more videos coming. Enjoy.